In this video, I'll be going over the solution to the problem painter problem from Code Chef February lunchtime 2020. So the first observation is that we can reduce this problem to counting the number of intersections between the left and the right uh, line segments. You can see from this image that each region except for region 1 corresponds to an intersection. For example, region 2 corresponds to this, region 3 corresponds to this, uh, region 4 corresponds to this intersection, and basically each region has a topmost intersection. So if we count the number of intersections between the left and right segments, and then we add 1 to that to account for region 1, then we'll be able to find the answer. And after this observation, if you're familiar with geometric line sweeps, then this problem should be pretty straightforward. And I'll still go over what the line sweep is. So we will iterate over the left segments from left to right. So first, we will process the intersections with this left segment, and then we'll count the intersections for this, and then we'll count and then we'll count the intersections for this. And then lastly, we'll count the intersections for this. And, yeah, and while we iterate over the left segments, we'll maintain the right segment segments, which are active. And active right segments are right segments which could potentially intersect with the current left segment. So basically, if you imagine if you extend this line all the way to infinity, if it intersects a right segment, then that right segment is counts as active. So uh, in the first step, this is our left segment that we're uh, processing, and the active right segment is, this. there's only one active right segment. And we find that this one intersects with the left segment, so we add one to the answer. And then we move on to the next left segment. And then our set of active right segments, right segments has increased. Um, we have added this right segment into our set of active right segments. And we find that both of these active right segments intersect with our left segments. So we add two to the answer. Then this is, uh, we process the third left segment. So even though we have three active right segments. Only one of them intersects with our left segment. So we only add one to the answer. And these two are still active right segments because if we extend this segment to infinity, then it will intersect with these right segments. So these two right segments are counted as active. And we move on to our last left segment, and these two right segments are active, so we add two to, the, and they intersect with our left segment, so we add two to the answer. And one thing to be to take care about is if we have overlapping segments, like uh, from these two triangles, they have an overlapping side then in this case, we should only store the longer side. So now let's look at the code to see how we can implement this solution. So first, I input all of the segments, uh, all of the triangles, and then, and then I have a map. I have two maps to find the longest segments from each overlap. So for each left segment, I I look at the starting point uh starting point which is Excel and I see I check if it exists in the map. And if it doesn't exist in map of L then I just add it to map of L. And if it already exists, and since we want the longest segment, we'll take the max of X of R at XR and whatever is already in map L. And then we do the same thing for the right segments as well. And then in order to do the sweep, we need to 
create the we will create events to simulate the sweep. So each event will have an X, so like the time, and it also has it. It will have also have a type, and it will also have some value which will mean different things depending on the event. On the event. So for each right segment, um, so in our map, x of i will be equal to uh, a dot second, and x r of i is a dot first. And then the right segment i should be active uh, in the time from x of i to x r i. And then this is the right part is exclusive. So what we should do is we should add this right segment to the list to the set of active right segments at time x of i. So we create this new event of type 1 and it starts at time a dot second, which is x of i. And then we'll store the x r i in the value of x r in the event. Because later we're going to need to use the x r to see if the segments intersect. And then we will remove this right segment at and then we'll remove this right segment at time xr so xr is a dot first so we create a new event of type 2 to remove this right segment at time xri and again we store the xri of this right segment um, so we can remove it and then we process the left segments. So for each left segment, we should query the intersection of this segment with the right segments at time x of i. So we the time is set to a dot first, and then the type is three. And we need to use x r of i in order to determine which right segments this left segment intersects with. So after we have all the events, we'll sort the events by time and type. And here's where we start our sweep. And you'll use a data structure to store the right segments which are active. And the data structure which I used is an ordered set from uh, the PBDS library. So it's basically an ordered statistic tree. And if you're not familiar with PBDS, then I'll include a link of that in the description of this video. So anyways, we process the events um, according to the time. And then if the type is one, then we add a segment to, we add a new active right segment. And then we add the value of XR, which is E dot Y. And then if the type is two, then we some right segment becomes inactive, so we remove it from the set. And then it, otherwise the type of the event is three. So this is when we should uh, count the right segments which intersect with the current left segment. So we can note that left segment i intersects with right segment j if xr of j is less than or equal to xr of i. And then e dot y stores xr of i. So, so that means we should count the number of right segments. We should count the number of right active right segments in our set S, which are less than or equal to e dot y. And then we can use this function order of key. And this will basically return the index of the first element greater than or equal to e dot y plus one. And then that index will be the same as the number of elements which are small smaller than or equal to e dot y. So this will so basically we add the number of uh, right segments which intersect with the current left segment. And then after we calculate the number of intersection points we add one for uh, region one. And then this is basically it for the solution. And if this was helpful, then feel free to like and subscribe. And um, if you have any questions uh, about line sweep, if it's unclear, then feel free to ask in the comment section. And I'll try my best to help.